Hey babies, it's your girl Kara's Crystal Visions. Welcome newbies, in-betweens, and OGs. Grrr, give me some depth. Boop, okay, because you the dopest and we know this. Thank you, thank you for always supporting your girl, loving on your girl, giving me that beautiful positive energy exchange as I give it back to you every time you view, you like, and you show so much love and gratitude to me. Know that I am sending it mm, right on back to you. And uh, let me tell you something. You could be anywhere in the world today, but you're here with me. And I am so grateful to be giving you the clarity, the confirmation, the love, the guidance, and the inspiration that you need if this reading resonates, my babies. And if you would be so kind and generous, I do accept donations. Cash app or PayPal, it is in the description box below. And if you want to follow my social media right now, I'm taking a break. That is also in the description box below, okay? So let's get to the get, get, go! All right, my babies, I miss you guys. But I am back for a little bit. I got a lot of things going on in the background. So thank you for your patience, your beautiful, kind words, um, all of the beautiful comments um, at the bottom of my son's picture. Mwah. I'm so blessed to have you guys as my soul family. Like, you guys really warm my heart. Like, true. Lee. I'm hoping you guys are having a fantastic summer. All right. And uh, thank you for those also that donate. OM freaking G. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really wanted to also acknowledge those. Trust me. It does not go unnoticed. Mwah. All right. Let's see how your person is feeling about you. Okay. Let's see how they're feeling about you. All right, we have four that came out. So we have all oh, heart with the key, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting to know each other. Perfect. How beautiful. We have love call. Okay, I'm hearing that Kim song. Call in my name, you fall upon, baby. That Kim song, I cannot, what is the name of it? But anyway, I'm hearing love call. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Yeah, so this person feels like you are the one for them. It would never, could be no one else but you. And they want to call you up and express this to you. All right, or this is what is occurring right at this moment. We have X, break up, stop, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment, okay? So they want to stop some pattern of theirs that is causing them to show you that maybe they don't care as much or some type of trauma that they really need to heal or they are healing in the background that is giving them um, some type of fear, some type of anxiety, which is having them pull back or had them pull back from you, all right? Or um, they have displayed some untrustworthy actions in the past, patterns, ways of being. And this person is really healing this. This person is really trying every avenue to stop, I'm hearing an addiction, a way of being, thinking, acting, that is truly um, hindering the growth or just them getting to really appreciate you in this connection, all right? Because the truth is they're feeling like, you know, you're the one, right? You're the one that they want to commit to. They're going to call you and express this to you. Or like I said, this has already happened, all right? They don't want to be non-committal. They don't want to be fearful of commitment. They want commitment with you because they see that you have everything that they have been asking for, asked for, manifested for some, manifested at the wrong time. But was it really at the wrong time, okay? Some of them have manifested you completely 
not manifesting you by just being in alignment with trying their best in every avenue to heal themselves because they want better for themselves. How beautiful, right? The last card, engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. This is what this person wants with you. And if you're already in this beautiful commitment, they don't ever want to let you go. Whatever they have been doing to make you feel unwanted, to make you feel like they're not giving you enough affection, attention, love, to make you feel like they're not committed to you and only you, they want to stop that pattern. They want to go to therapy. They want to communicate, have a heart to heart with you if therapy is not an option. This person feels like you were sent from heaven. I'm hearing that Keisha's cold song, sent from heaven. How beautiful, all right? So whatever actions, patterns, interferences that has been stopping this person from showing you how deeply they are in love with you, they want to stop that because they want to take this to the next level, whether this is being in a commitment and not fearing commitment and love really embracing what true love is because you are the definition of true love to them. Or they want to take this to the next level by marrying you because they never want to let you go. Some want to renew their vows. Some want to, you know, initiate, I'm hearing different role-playing experiences within this connection that is within boundaries and respect to amplify the passion. I'm hearing the sexual chemistry, the adventure, the excitement, keeping it alive within this connection. This person feels like you are everything and more to them. How beautiful. They don't want to stab you in the back or break your heart or cause you any pain. They don't want you to feel like they are deceptive or untrustworthy in any way, my sweets. This person is coming to be loved by you and to love you, or this person is in your life to truly love you and to be loved by you. This is beautiful energy. And they are expecting to continuously grow this. Whatever problems, whatever pain, whatever trials and tribulations, if you are already in this commitment with this person, that you have experience with them, they want to make sure that they acknowledge and accept what they've done to you, how they treated you, and they want, if you give them the chance, it's up to you, my sweets. I'm just here to relay the message. They want to rectify it. They want to show you that their actions that they displayed was not truly who they are. They really want to show you who the real them is. Some of them, you've been with them for quite some time and they've been putting on a facade. They've been having this hard exterior. They've been holding back. Because truthfully, their love runs so deep. But they had to let go of a lot of past trust issues, traumas that they've held on to. And when they met you, you were just unbelievable, unbearable to them. Because they didn't have enough love for themselves. Because they didn't heal whatever traumas that would allow them to love you and treat you the way you deserve. This is only if... You have been in this connection for quite some time. Maybe this person proposed, but you never got married. Or maybe this person pr never proposed at all. And they are remorseful of that. They can't even fathom what took them this long. And why haven't they even made you their wife? Or why haven't, you know, they came forth so that they can get to know you to make you their husband? because they want you to be their husband. They want you to protect them and love them and comfort them. They want that masculine figure in their life if they're a feminine, okay? And this person wants to call you and tell you it's always been you. 
So this could have been a long time friend, or this is someone that you've been with a feminine energy and they were scared of commitment, scared of marriage. Maybe even say, I don't really care about marriage. We can just be, you know, common law up in here. But I feel like you want to take it further. So this person is going to oblige, I'm hearing. Because deep down, they want it too. But she was too afraid, okay? Now flip it and flap it if it is a masculine energy, all right? The masculine energy was too afraid. But now they see that with you, true, I'm hearing teamwork, commitment, understanding, love does exist. And to them, you're perfect. And I'm trying to tell you, they are going to do whatever is necessary, whatever advice, whatever I'm hearing concern, whatever um, problem solving solution that you feel as though that can help you and this person connect deeper. They're going to do it because they don't want to lose the one person that they actually really love. So we're gonna see why do they feel this way about you? Why do they have these strong feelings? Why do they feel like you are the one? Why do they want to marry you and live everlasting life with you through struggles, through great times, through accomplishments, through failure, through it all? Let's see. Because even though you know that they didn't have a lot to bring, you still love this person. Even though you knew that this person was insecure, even though you knew this person had a lot of work to do on themselves, you still love this person. And this is why they just, oh my God, they love you so much. And they didn't mean to put you through whatever they put you through, my sweets. Okay, and if you're getting to know this person, you are truly seeing that this person has a beautiful soul. You're not really looking at the fact that this person does have insecurities or money issues. You're willing to still be there for this person, to still communicate with this person, to still, you know, help this person, even if they're just a friend. This friend could be falling in love with you. So why? Why do they feel this way? Yes, you're unjudgmental. We have the judgment card. You're very unjudgmental. And you see people for their soul and this person adores you for it. Because other people only look at the surface of who this person is. And this person has closed a lot of people off to getting to know the depths of them because they're so judged of what they look like. Okay, let's get some more. Why do they feel this way about you? Because you've changed them in so many extraordinary ways. You've helped them transform into the man or the woman that they are today. You're helping them transform into the woman or the man that they are becoming today. If you are currently with this person, have been with this person, newly are getting to know this person, the philosophies, the way you talk, the way your mind perceives this reality that we're living in, it is so fascinating by this person because they're getting a completely different point of view when you speak, when you give them acknowledgement, advice, guidance, love, when you show them the way. Because I feel like as far as your spirituality, you are ahead of this person. When it comes to unconditional love, you are ahead of this person. You're showing this person how to love themselves. You're showing this person how to get out of a way of poverty, thinking, being, and acting so that they can obtain things that they can't even see. <sighs> Boo, they love you because at the bottom of the deck, you give them peace, balance, justice, harmony, love. You speak the truth. You are just, you are real. You are a fucking, I'm hearing dynamite. <laughs> You're the shit, like, and so many ways more than superficial you're the shit for this person you are showing this person how to be more balanced how to be more at peace how to really love themselves how to acknowledge and accept their faults so that they can change them 
Wow. And as you are just being you, changing, you're inspiring this person and just whether you're knowingly helping this person or unknowingly, they love the fact that you are the only person that believed in them enough to guide them, to give them that beautiful knowledge, healing, love, to be unjudgmental, even though they didn't have enough to give. Even if it's not financial, it could be emotional. But somehow you knew this either was your person or that they had a, I mean, a beautiful heart. Like you saw the soul of this person when everyone else just saw the outer exterior. And this person loves you for that. You showed or told this person what they needed to stop in order to change. And this person is following your advice. And oh man, as they are changing, they're unblocking and miracles are unfolding. And boo boo, you have always been a miracle to this person. Now that they're changing, and that they're actually accepting that they are deserving of you. They want to give you so much love, marriage. They want to give you so much affection. They want to send you, I mean, your energy, energetically so much love. And they want to confess that you're the one for me. You're their justice. This is amazing. A beautiful reading, sweets. So the signs that we have here is Pisces. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, we have Scorpio, and then we have Libra, I'm hearing as well. All right, we wanna get a couple more signs really quickly. We have Pisces again, okay? So Scorpio, Cancer, let's get two more. Neptune, I believe that is Cancer, I believe, or Scorpio. And then we have Gemini, all right? If I'm wrong about Neptune, please forgive me. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Moon card. A lot of Pisces, man. A lot of Pisces, okay? So this could be in yours or their chart, but they are very dreamy also. So they're dreaming and visualizing and manifesting a beautiful life. I'm hearing forward future focus when it comes to you and them. Okay. This person ain't playing when it comes to making you theirs or keeping you there. All right. And because you've been so patient and loving and for some of you, you had to separate from this person. Um, I'm hearing a brief time. Even if it was a long time, this person truly is very appreciative. Because had you not loved them the way you did, gave tough love, um, saw the best in them. Like some of you, a lot of you are really good with predictions. And it's like, even though logically this person wasn't adding up in regards to meeting your standards and what you deserve, it's like God and spirit, your intuition, you kind of knew that this person eventually over time and patience, whether it's you separating from this person and you digging more into what makes you happy, your passions, your self-worth, while this person was getting over their insecurities and choosing to change, or whether you were in this connection with this person. This person has made the decision to change. And that major decision, yes, of course, they want to course correct their life. They want to actually obtain the goals and the endeavors that they set forth for themselves, yes, absolutely, that they didn't have the courage to do in the beginning because you are the courage, you are the muse, you are the inspiration. Now they're willing and they feel as though they have the capacity to do so and it's all due to you. And of course, the second thing is they're changing because they don't wanna lose you. And they know that they can't keep you if they don't change. 
if they don't become more secure within their self, within their financial stability, they're looking up. I'm hearing base chakra meditations. They're working out more. They're trying to be more stable mentally, physically, and financially because they want to be and they want to keep that family. But they know they have a lot of things or they had a lot of things that they needed to clean up in regards to themselves and the way they think, the way they act, and the decisions that they were making that was not conducive to this relationship. They also had to get rid of a lot of people, friends, interferences that would keep them poverty mindset, right? That would just take from them and leave them with nothing. They had to appreciate you too as well, all right? If you were in a connection long-term with this person. If you're newly getting to know this person, this person has already went through this process and they have took off the mask and they are embracing themselves and they're at peace with it. And they're going to truly, if they haven't already, show you who they really are. So they feel all of this love, all of this deep entrenched love and wanting commitment, higher commitment with you and it's because out of every option, you have been the most impactful in loving them, supporting them, knowing things that were going on in the background, but you still stayed. You still were very supportive, whether this is a friendship, a commitment of any sort, or some type of business partnership, but I really feel like this is love. You stayed. And you were unjudgmental and you allowed this person to change on their own timing and this person appreciates you for it. When everyone else left, you were still there. That's the message that I'm getting, all right? Don't shoot the messenger, all right? Now, also, if this is someone new, they feel like, you know, everybody that they had to cut off, they had to leave out of the cold, this decision that they had to make to change it was the best decision ever because they met you, the love of their life. When they stopped being a fuck boy or fuck girl, when they stopped having control issues, when they stopped waddling in their trauma and allowing their trauma to create behaviors that were not ethically moral to what they believed in, when they stopped this, they manifested you. When they cut these people out of their lives that had this type of energy, they manifested you. All right, so let's get a advice. Let's get an advice, all right? Wow, Treasure Island, I love this read. So whoever you have been rocking out with for the longest, Whoever this new love is after ending a very hard, toxic karmic cycle, or whoever this friend is, this is your person. This is the person that you're going to marry. This is the person that you're going to have wish fulfillment with. This is the person that you're going to build with. Yes, it may take some time. It will. Okay, you have the turtle here with the treasure bursting um, out of the back of the um, hard shell or is on this hard shell, slow and steady wins the race, okay? And you have this whole lifetime to truly get to know each other, to embrace each other, to love each other, to learn new things, to witness the beautiful growth and evolution of each other as you truly appreciate it in every step in every part of the journey that you guys spend together. This is the person that you will enjoy life riches. And that doesn't mean money, that can mean just happy, joyous moments. That can mean a birth of the, the children that you want together. That can mean purchasing a house, building a garden, building a business, just living in the freaking moment of every beautiful moment that you can have with each other. This is the person, okay? 
Because a lot of you have been by yourself, doing it by yourself, single mothers, single fathers. You felt pushed away. You felt abandoned. You felt orphaned by a lot of people. And it's because God was pushing these particular people away because they didn't deserve this beautiful human, beautiful divine angel, unicorn, fairy, whatever magical, beautiful essence that you exude, they didn't deserve this beautiful change, the number five, that is coming or has already come into your life. So a lot of you, if this hasn't happened yet, you're sad, you're feeling lonely, you're feeling like, you know, when you meet a new friend or a new business partner or a new lover, it never works out. It's because they're cooking up the right one, the right friends, the right business opportunities for you because you deserve that and nothing less. And it takes patience. It takes faith. It takes trust. And that's what you are having. And as you are trusting that this marriage, this circumstance situation, whether that be friends, soul groups, partnerships, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, a marriage, this new relationship, you're praying that it works out in the best way possible for you. And the more you keep that optimism, the more it is bringing everything together in the best way that you want it. Okay? So don't feel alone. Don't feel abandoned. You have your spiritual team. I'm sending you so much love. Just know that even though in the physical aspect you cannot see but oh trust me in the background spirit is cooking up some beautiful beautiful love opportunities and friendships and these people will also without you having to do all of the work communicate with you support you love you meet up with you share ideas support you on your ideas just being that true clutch in necessary times and even beautiful times that you need because you've been that for others. Or it could be this beautiful love that you are already in or that is coming in or that you're getting to know. It's a change coming. It's a change needed and a change that you are deserving of. So even though it was a long time coming with this turtle, even though you had to go with the flow and have patience and heal and evolve and truly look at things in a way to where you would so be grateful and smart with the blessings that are coming into your life when it comes to love and finance and everything else that you've asked for. It waited this long and it was slow and steady for a reason. Because what's coming into your life, I hear, we don't want you to squander it. We want it to stick. And we want it to grow. And this is why it took so long. You had so many things to learn. About love. About what true love looks like, feels like, acts like. About manipulation. Trickery. And how to protect yourself. Discernment. How to learn how to judge. I'm mean, here, a true character of judgment. Forgiveness, right? Unblocking yourself from resentment and so much more. And you have truly ascended past all of these low vibrational energies and you have truly conquered the lessons that is necessary for you now to have this beautiful connection you could have, you know, went through all of these trials and tribulations with your person. And now that both of you guys have learned, now you guys are in a different vibration. You ascend it. You're ready. Or now that you have done this by yourself, if you didn't do this with someone, you're ready to actually enjoy this new person that you're dealing with or coming into. Okay. But that is the reading, babies. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you know when your girl posting. Until next time, 
Bye.